Welcome to the channel and thank you for checking out this video. I hope you're having a great day. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into the video and find out who is M'Baku the Manate. M'Baku is from the Jabari tribe, which became disenchanted with Wakanda's reliance on technology. The Jabari also decided to no longer worship the panther god and to worship the white gorilla god. Worship of the white gorilla was outlawed, so the newly crowned King T'Challa outlawed the tribe itself and scattered them throughout Wakanda. They were persecuted and mocked by the other tribes. Eventually, the Jabari reconsolidated and relocated to the frozen crystal forest. There, they built the gorilla palace to honor the gorilla god. M'Baku became chieftain of the Jabari. He faked his friendship with T'Challa. M'Baku secretly ventured into the crystal forest and hunted down and killed one of the sacred white gorillas that dwelled there. He then consumed its flesh, which gave him superhuman strength, endurance, agility, and durability. M'Baku was already a skilled fighter and patterned his fighting style after the gorilla. He also used the gorilla's carcass to make himself a costume. When King T'Challa, the Black Panther, decided to stay in the U.S. to assist the Avengers, he named M'Baku acting leader of Wakanda. While T'Challa was in the U.S., M'Baku secretly recruited Death Tiger to assassinate him. The attempt was unsuccessful. Eventually, T'Challa brought a handful of the Avengers to Wakanda with him. M'Baku had a celebratory feast prepared for T'Challa and the Avengers, but had secretly drugged it. He captured them while they were drugged and then revealed his Manate persona. He then battled with Black Panther, and at the battle's end, Manate was buried under rubble of a crumbled panther statue and assumed dead. Manate survived and was snuck out of the country by his loyal aide in Gamo to the U.S. He was recruited by the Grim Reaper into his group, the Lethal Legion. The Legion had a few battles with the Avengers and were subsequently defeated. He eventually returned to being a member of the Lethal Legion when the Grim Reaper reassembled them. But that didn't last long. Manape, along with Black Talon, left after becoming unable to tolerate the Grim Reaper's racist attitude towards Blacks. He was then recruited into the Crimson Cow's Masters of Evil. The Masters of Evil were defeated by the Thunderbolts and M'Baku found himself in prison. He was freed by Malice, who gave him the Imperial Codes to Wakanda. M'Baku happily returned to Wakanda. Wakanda and the Jabari ended up going to battle. Eventually, cooler heads prevailed and the Jabari were allowed to peacefully return to their lands. A few months later, T'Challa announced he was marrying Storm. Manape was insulted that he wasn't invited and went to crash the wedding and cause havoc. He was surprised to find out that he actually had been invited. Well, that's a wrap for today. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm gone. Peace.